The Chris Paul Family Foundation is a foundation that we started right after I got drafted into the NBA in 2005. We came from a family that were always about giving back and helping others. Me and my wife, we were visiting my son's school in LA and it sort of blew my mind that in the lower school, I seen all of these MacBook computers and smart boards and everything that was going on and I, I got frustrated I, while I felt so blessed and fortunate that my son was going to get this opportunity, I could only help but thinking about the kids that are on the other side of town that aren't getting this benefit. Some of these communities, they don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, the way that we live today with technology and everything's being technology driven, these kids not having these iPads and different things like that, they, they are definitely being left behind and this has got to change. Uh, we, we put a few in L.A., Winston-Salem, New Orleans, Chicago, and we just want to continue to uh, try to impact change. With what we've done with these classrooms, um, it's big. Uncapped uh, possibilities, uh, I think what that means to me is never settle for less and never let someone tell you that you can't do something or be something. Any possibility, anything you put your mind to is uh, something you can do. The kids also need the tools. They need the tools. They need um, the proper things so that they can learn, so that there's a level playing field. And that's why it's key to make sure all kids, no matter what side of town they are, they're getting the access to this different type of technology. How are you? I'm Chris Paul. Natalie Jennings. Nice to meet you, Natalie. You too. So today we're going to be doing a drawing of somewhat of a classroom. What would you like a classroom to look like? Okay, sounds good. And what would be the first thing that you do? What, what would you place? I would say a laptop. Laptop, of course, 2018. <laughs> Education is key. Uh, the power of knowledge, there's nothing like it. Let me see if I can help out a little bit with this. Okay. So let's put a little book shelf over here. I'm, You're I'm a pay, pro. I don't pay too much attention to that. Just listen to what I'm saying, not what I'm drawing. <laughs> okay. okay. Looks good. Then do pe people still use calculators? Yeah. Some people still use like the TI-83s and... TI-84 for us, yes. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, definitely old, huh? Yeah, hold up, it's 2018. They don't have a mouse connected to the In computer In my school no they do. Oh, my bad. Basketball is what I do, it's not who I am, and it's basically giving me a platform to be able to impact others and, and to give back. There's nothing like it. I mean, we can have like a projector. So we want project it there. So. Projector. I was taught at an early age that one day this ball is gonna stop bouncing, and then what else do you have to show for it? So being able to help others and, and give back is a lot more meaningful than any three-point shot or a dunk, which I don't do too often anyway. Good job. Good job. Um, they look up to us. They want to be uh, lawyers, doctors, athletes, uh, engineers, whatever it may be, and they just need to know that people care about them and, and want to see them succeed.